so I got an email the other day from a guy, and he said, okay, so I've watched some of your videos, and I've seen some of you using all these different kinds of equipment. How do you choose which piece of equipment to use when? Like with a grinder. Sometimes you use big ones, sometimes you use little ones. So I thought I'd get some out and show you. Come over here. So it all really depends on what you're going to do. Uh, like with grinders. All different kinds of grinders. From the great big heavy duty, um, I hate to say the name, but everybody knows what the, the big red one is. Big two-handed monster. you got to remove a lot of metal. you got to you know, grind down big welds. you got to cut something loose with it. You can turn it and use it like a little chop saw. You're not supposed to, but you can. Big heavy monster. Uh, did a little one-handed job. I use this one one-handed for doing detail work uh, with the different types of uh, flex pads you can put on here, different grits of pads. So you can put a real heavy grit on it and get a lot of work done. You can go to the lighter grits where you can smooth out all the little dirt marks and you know, make it all bright and shiny. And you can get these same pads for the big grinder. So you can work back and forth. You can use the stones or you can use the, the uh, pads on it. You can even get masonry pads for like grinding off a piece of concrete, smoothing off a seam or something like that, or metal pads. Very versatile. And what are those called? What, just grinders or? Well, these are grinders. These are just handheld grinders. This is a 7-inch grinder, the red one. And this is a four and a half inch grinder. And then the, you, know, you have the corresponding grinding pads, pads or wheels to, to go with them. Do they sometimes call those angle grinders? Yeah, these are angle grinders also. Yeah, they call them that too. Um, this is actually a piece of woodworking equipment. This is a detail belt sander. It's only three eighths of an inch wide. But you can get the different adapter, the different arm, to go out to a half an inch wide if you want. But I found these metal belts online, so I can use this wood tool as a metal tool for grinding, you know, in a tight little hole. You want to get down inside something, you want to, you know, inside a pipe or something like that. Great, great little tool for reaching down in there. Then, of course, you go off to the air tools little angle grinder, just like those, but instead of a 90 degree angle grinder, this is a 45 degree. And it has little flex pads that go on, you know, little sanding pads that go on the end of it. And these come from one inch up to, I think, three or four inch wide, and all kinds of different grits. Then you get into the Dremels. This is the, what everybody knows as a Dremel, you know, the little electric ones with a little eighth inch uh, collet on it, with a little grinder, or, uh, little burrs on it, up to the big air powered ones. You even have a little pencil grinder with the burrs on it. And of course you got all different kinds of wood burrs and metal burrs and the choices are just endless. But there's always, always going to be the right tool for the right job. But these are the most important ones. Safety glasses, hearing protection, gloves, wear them. How do you choose electric over pneumatic or pneumatic over electric? Well, I don't know. I really can't answer that. I know I, I like this, uh, this uh, die grinder because it's really powerful. I can put the bigger burrs in it. I can put the longer burrs in it over like the pencil grinder. But this one is really easy, even with a glove on, to get down into something. You want to shave a little weld off or shave a little edge off, where this is just a big horse and it's hard to get down in there. Uh, I don't use this one very often. I, I've actually found that it, the uh, air-powered pencil grinder works just as well as the electric Dremel does. And I can run the quarter-inch burrs over the eighth-inch burrs, and these don't snap as much as these can.
this experience, I think. You know, it's just using them and playing with them. It's finding out what they'll do and what they won't. And then you got to remember, oh, yeah, I got that tool in there. Go use it. So, hope that helps. See you next time.